What's up guys? So today we got Martellus Bennett NFL Movers 99 overall dual style short pass ground and pound style. This guy was so fun to play with man and you'll see why in a few minutes. 6'6", six six, 91 speed, 94 strength, 97 release, 98 spectacular, 101 catch in traffic, 98 catch, 90 run block, and 89 route running. Also has a 95 stiff arm and a 94 truck so if you're in the open field don't be afraid to try to push forward for a few extra yards but anyways man. Enough about these stats, let me show you what he did on the field. So Bennett will be on the left side and the right side for this review. Now, his route running was not that great. I mean, 89 route running is not going to get major separation. I mean, it really depends on the route. You know, if it was like these, these post routes here or these corner routes, he got somewhat better success. But the out routes, the curls, not so much. So I would not lean on those too often. And as far as run blocking, as you can see here, Definitely a very good run blocker. 90 run block is no joke. He did struggle sometimes against guys like Lawrence Taylor, but that's to be expected. Um, these spectacular catches, he did pull off some of these, but I did notice that these were easier to pull off during like the, you know, with the 10 yard passes, not so much with like the, the deep bombs. I saw more of these with the uh, 15 to 20 yard passes, but that's just what I saw. And this right here, he was absolutely a beast with this right here. Catching and double coverage, man. Not many players can do this, you know, on a very consistent basis but he was just doing it so well now of course I'm not saying that this is the way you should lean on him I'm not saying that just because he has two guys on him that you're guaranteed to catch I'm just saying that of all the players that I've played with including wide receivers Bennett was just a beast man one of the few players where if I saw someone double coverage I mean if I saw him in double coverage I wasn't even that worried about it I said you know what let me just throw it up and see what happens and as you can see here man very successful at it <clears throat> Now this right here, I was prepared to say that this was what he did best, the uh, catching and traffic, you know, the one-on-one -on -one battles, but technically there was one thing that he did do better, but trust me, this right here, he was phenomenal at, alright, phenomenal. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this like a 9.2, alright, that is a very high grade, especially for a tight end, man, so I had a lot of fun just throwing the ball like this to, um... To Bennett, whether it was the far left or the far right. Now you can throw a straight bullet if you want to, or you can throw a high pass. He is six foot six, so it really depends. Obviously, if you notice that he's going up against like maybe like a five foot ten corner, like Barber or five eleven corner, I would uh, recommend throwing high. But it's really up to you. <clears throat> now, of you know, as well as he played, he tr trust me, he had his bad moments like that right there. That route running man did not get great separation, so he definitely did drop some passes here and there. But believe me, he caught way more passes than he dropped. Like it wasn't even close, man. So trust me, these drop passes here were nothing compared to to the uh, catches that he did make. Now I did play a full season with him, and um, I do want to say that I had a lot of fun. In fact. When I was done playing with him, I actually didn't even want to stop. I just wanted to keep playing more seasons with him. But, you know, I had to get this review to you guys as soon as possible. And this right here is by far what he did best, man, was the deep ball. Now, this and catching in traffic <clears throat> were, you know, just about equal. But technically, you know, the deep ball is obviously much more effective than a 10-yard slant, you know, or a 10-yard curl or, or whatever it may be. So, this is by far what he did best, man, just a monster at it. Obviously, I would say this would be like on a scale of 1 to 10, like a 9.3. The guy was just deadly with this. And it got to the point where my opponents were hitting me up, bitching and moaning, complaining over and over, saying, look, man, you got no offense, you're trash. All you did was throw the ball deep. And I'm just like, well, damn, bro, you got me there. I can't even argue with that. But I was telling him, like, I try to make my case saying that this is not how I play. But, man, when you got Bennett and he can do this over and over, how can you not want to do this? So, honestly, guys, had a lot of fun with this guy, man. I Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this review. My final thoughts. Do I think he's worth 300000 I feel like maybe he's worth two fifty, but, you know, 300000 is not that bad either. And I don't know how much further his price would drop. I mean, I saw that a new Gonzalez card came out, and, you know, his price is still at 300 So I'm not really sure how much further his price would drop. Now, as you can see here, I know he's not the best tight end in the game in terms of, you know, like cap value and everything else, but easily the best tight end that I've ever played with now hopefully I'll get a chance to play with Gonzalez and Gronkowski and those guys but for now Martellus Bennett is by far the best tight end that I've ever played with so anyways guys let's gonna wrap this review up I will see y'all boys for the next review peace